welcome back to my new lecture of control engineering today we will start the module second of the control engineering okay its subject code is 18 me 71 so i have taken here the derivation which is super important which is most important as far as video examination it carries eight marks let us understand uh, what does it uh, means over here so obtain an expression for a response of first order system for unit step input so for a unit step input you have to calculate you have to give the expression for the response of first order system so let's order this uh, let, let's understand first this uh, block diagram here so this is input r of s and this is a summing point and this is the error signal and this is called a forward path uh, which is also called as g of s okay so then uh, this uh, this is the c of s which is the output of the uh, particular uh, closed loop system over here and this is feedback path which is unity here that is one okay so first of all we know that and also i have derived that equation for transfer function i will uh, provide the link in the description box for that also so transfer function is equal to transfer function is equal to c of s upon r of s okay is equal to g of s upon 1 plus g of s and h of s okay so g of s is forward path h of s is feedback path so in this particular function what is the g of s value which is equal to 1 upon s tau okay 1 upon s tau divided by 1 plus g of s same 1 upon s tau 1 upon s tau and h of s is feedback path which is nothing but a unity here unit feedback that is 1 so into you have to simply multiply it with 1 over here so you will get transfer function as c of s upon r of s is equal to 1 upon s tau divided by this s tau into 1 is s tau plus 1 into 1 that is 1 upon s tau okay so this is your c of s upon r of s now my dear friends if uh, if we will take uh, in terms of a time domain so in terms of time domain means you have to take uh, c of s is equal to c of t r of s is equal to r of t so in terms of time domain i will take in terms of time domain domain i will take uh, for a uni unit step unit step signal consider a unit step signal okay unit step signal so i can simply say that that is r of t is equal to which is also called as u of t that is unit uh, unit step signal which is equal to 1 r of t is equal to u of t is equal to 1 it is a unit step signal for t is greater or equal to 0 so if i will take laplace here as i earlier mentioned in the previous videos it is nothing but the laplace function these are all the laplace functions laplace of rs uh, e of s is equal to laplace of error signal like that so i will take laplace taking laplace of r of s is equal to laplace of rt okay so r of t so r of t is equal to 1 in the above step i have mentioned it so it is laplace transform of r of t means 1 okay so laplace transform of 1 is equal to 1 upon s okay so it is equal to 1 upon s so r of s i am getting here as 1 by s okay so therefore uh, this uh, c of s upon r of s i can write it as same equation so c of s upon r of s is here so instead of r of s i have to write 1 by s so later on i will write it so first of all i, I will write down the same formula 1 upon s tau upon s tau plus 1 upon s tau okay so uh, this s tau and s tau gets cancelled okay so now c of s is equal to this r of s uh, if i just uh, transfer it into the right hand side so it gets multiplied so r of s into this is now 1 upon s tau plus 1 okay so this is equal to c of s is equal to r of s is equal to already 1 by s in the above step that is 1 by s into 1 upon i can write it as 1 plus s tau over here okay now i will just take uh, s common from this particular term or tau i can uh, what we call as carry out over here 1 upon s into 1 upon i will just take uh, tau as common so tau uh, here i will get 1 upon tau and plus s over here okay so i can write here c of s is equal to 1 upon s into this tau i will send to the numerator it will become 1 upon tau divided by 
1 upon tau plus s so this is what another term now if uh, in order to uh, apply the laplace inverse i should make this particular formula in terms of the uh, what we call as a by s uh, minus times b time b divided by something okay so i will write it as c of s is equal to 1 upon s minus 1 upon s plus 1 by tau okay so if if you just multiply this term uh, you will get the same here okay so uh, s into 1 is see here s into 1 is s plus 1 upon tau okay this term i am multiplying with 1 so minus times this s into 1 is s okay divided by s into s plus 1 upon tau okay so by cancelling this s and s you will get the same term 1 upon tau 1 upon tau 1 by tau so 1 by tau is here plus s so you are getting the same term that is why i, I am just writing it in this particular format so that i can apply the laplace inverse okay so this is the additional step you can uh, write it over here so next so i can write c of s is equal to this term now i can uh, apply laplace okay so i uh, first of all i will take it in the uh, what we call as time domain so in terms of in terms of time domain why i am taking in terms of time domain as the chapter indicates chapter name is also a time domain so we have to deal with the time domains in this particular uh, module so c of t i can write as laplace inverse of this term that is 1 upon s minus 1 upon s plus 1 upon tau over here okay so if i just apply now laplace so i will get what is the laplace inverse of 1 by s so it is 1 okay as laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s so it is obviously its inverse will be uh, inverse of 1 by s will be 1 okay and this uh, uh, laplace inverse of 1 upon s plus a so it is a formula so laplace of 1 divided by s plus a it is always equal to e raised power minus a t okay so what is here uh, what we call uh, a a is 1 upon tau so i can write e raised power minus 1 upon tau into t this is your laplace inverse of this particular term that is c of t okay so now if i have to calculate error error is equal to error of t is equal to r of t minus output c of t so r of t is nothing we have calculated it as one in the above uh, formula r, r of t is equal to one okay so i can write as r of t is one minus c of t already calculated in the above step that is one minus e raised power minus one upon tau into t okay so if i just simplify it uh, it will become one one gets cancelled minus into minus plus so it will become e raised power minus one upon tau into t so this is your whole what we call this derivation so this is important derivation my dear friends eight marks it will carry in the uh, video examination so practice more for this uh, derivation so thank you for watching my video